What's up guys, this is DGS Videos, I'm Cameron and I'm Gabriel and we're going to be looking through the Battlefield 5 trailer since it's got so much hate. So to start off I want to talk about the comparison of the Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5 trailer. No! No 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 no! We're going to start off with talking about the goddamn cyborg woman! Let, let me just show you this clip here. There is nothing wrong with this scene. Women fought in World War II. They did, believe me. I typed it into Google and I found this. Women in World War II. Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, several hundred thousand. Wow. Another issue is the cyborg arms. They're not cyborg arms, it's a prosthetic limb. Many soldiers had prosthetic limbs in the war. If the woman in the trailer is a so say cyborg because of a prosthetic arm, then what does this make this guy? There's no cyborgs in Peter Pan, what are they talking about? Thanks Cameron for that, let's go back to our original point. Everyone's saying that the Battlefield 5 trailer is too over the top, too, too hectic. But let's look at Battlefield 1's trailer, which was adored, it's the exact same. We have knights, we have tanks crushing people, we have planes crashing into other planes, we have explosions everywhere. And don't forget about the hugely dubstepped version of Seven Nation Army. Wait, hang on a minute. There's a woman there! Where was the hatred for this? So as you can see, both trailers are over the top, they're both hectic. Dice are trying to make the war seem hectic, they don't want to seem like World War 2 was at all tame and as you can see from Battlefield 5 it actually makes it better in some ways because the reveal trailer shows some niche hints towards what the gameplay mechanics are going to be like. This kind of allows us to move on to our next point of how Battlefield 5 made a good step forward where it mixed the cinematic trailer and then blended it so smoothly into the gameplay which when we were listening to Jack Frags talk about the game it kind of confused us when he said this. In my opinion, the trailer, it wasn't very good. And based on the three hour behind the scenes stream that we had yesterday, where they revealed all of these extra details to us, that trailer is not representative of the gameplay at all. And I think that's a shame because a lot of people, I think, will watch that trailer and just think that it's a reskin of BF1. Like, it looks a bit better. There's explosions and stuff, but uh, it's just kind of more of the same. In reality, when you find out about all these other details, it's a completely different and more tactical experience. So I think that DICE and EA dropped the ball a bit there. This doesn't make sense to us because he's basically saying that Battlefield 5 is actually going to be really tactical and this trailer is over the top and just messy with explosions. But then couldn't you say the same thing about a lot of other games? For example, StarCraft 2. Spawning down to the bottom left hand corner, it's our blue Terran, representing Jin Air Green Wings, it is Maru. Professional Zerg would have noticed this already. Life went up to nine supply, had a hundred minerals in the bank, had time and money to build the Overlord. He then built a drone and then had to wait, then mm. build the Overlord and went to 10 supply. Wow, basically the, uh, the exact same thing. But you know another game that didn't show any gameplay elements? Battlefield 1! And now the biggest reason why people are currently riding the hate bandwagon. It's because of this. And we see nothing wrong with this. DICE are trying to offer 
a couch customization which fans have been asking for for a long time and they have given us one with a lot of variety and this clearly shows that. They're not trying to make their characters look like they're in World War 2, they're trying to show just how massive their character creation can go to. Like, one of them looks like Kratos from God of War. Bottom line is, we're not trying to create any hate with people, it's just that we feel it's got an unnecessary train of hate going on to it right now, and it doesn't need it because it doesn't deserve it. We have nothing against Jack Frags or the other guy, it's just we want to voice our opinion and defend this game because I believe it can be good as long as it keeps away from those fucking loot boxes! And has nothing to do with Star Wars after that last train wreck. But after playing Battlefield 1 for so many goddamn hours, which definitely has been met with so much joy, I hope this game does well. I, I need this game to do well, there has not been many good games recently. And after the success of Battlefield 1, I think we should be able to trust DICE with these kind of war settings. But I guess only time can tell. Maybe they'll fuck it up. Maybe they'll make an absolute masterpiece. We don't know. There's not been that much information yet. We'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. I've been Cameron. And this has been Gabriel. And we're going to see you in the next video. Goodbye. Because this is such a sensitive subject, please be respectful in the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below.